One of the worst wildfire seasons in the previous 50 years was occurring in the United States in 2002. In Colorado, hundreds of thousands of acres burnt. The U.S. Forest Service relied on a fleet of 33 aircraft in addition to courageous firefighters to fight the fires, but the fleet was grounded due to two deadly incidents, depriving the nation of air power to use against the merciless flames. Originally designed as a passenger airliner, the Boeing 747 Supertanker was specifically designed to step in and rescue the day. Evergreen International Aviation transformed it into the biggest fire extinguisher in the world. Nearly 20,000 gallons of fire retardant may be transported by this enormous air tanker and dispersed across a football field-sized area. The supertanker can reach any location in the world in less than 20 hours, according to the company. The 747 has fought flames in California and Colorado since it was first launched. Massive forest fires in Bolivia, Chile, Mexico, and Israel have also been put out with the super tanker's assistance. The jumbo jet is one of the most effective human instruments against the wildfires that plague the planet every year, despite being grounded for a few years owing to Evergreen's severe financial issues. Today, it is able to resume operations. Two deadly incidents involving a Lockheed C-130 Hercules and a consolidated PB for Y-2 Privateer during firefighting operations happened in 2002. The aircraft belonged to a fleet of 33 aircraft that had been battling one of the most severe fire seasons in the United States in the previous 50 years. Three crew members were killed when the Hercules wing detached off the aircraft due to structural failure. The aircraft crashed when the privateer's left wing fell as well. The U.S. DOD decommissioned 11 Beechcraft 58P Baron-led aircraft and terminated contracts for nine air tankers. A year later, the U.S. Forest Duty retired all of its huge air tankers from duty. Information on newer air tankers to replace the outdated ones used to combat wildfires was sought by the U.S. Department of the Interior in 2004. The proposal by Evergreen International Aviation was to outfit four Boeing 747s with 24,000 gallons of retardant, which could be dropped over any fire in the world. With a maximum capacity of 5,500 gallons of retardant, the C-130 was the biggest air tanker available at the time. In 2004, the ship was shown to the Anchorage Air Cargo Association by the firm. Experts like Joe Stan, however, believed the 747 was too big for their sector. Evergreen had to wait two years for approval from the U.S. Forest Service and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, even though they had marketed the plane as the Swiss Army knife of emergency response. The 747 received certification in 2006 for the airborne distribution of liquids. The biggest fire extinguisher in the world, the 747, cost $50 million to create. It can create precise droplets of water or an ammonia-based retardant at the rate of falling rain thanks to its novel pressurized liquid drop technology. In addition to preventing harm to vehicles and trees, this technique enables the plane to drop retardant in hard-to-reach places, such as valleys. The 747 has a peak speed of 600 miles per hour and can be fully refueled in 30 minutes. The plane can travel across the continental United States in 5 hours and to the other side of the earth in 20. In order to dump fire retardant 300 feet above the ground, it can also slow down to 160 miles per hour. The 747 can deploy a 3-mile football field-wide swath of retardant if necessary and the tank is set up for segmented drops. However, strong wind speeds can carry the retardant away, making it impossible to employ massive air tankers like the 747. One strong aircraft that is well known for its capacity to create containment lines between firefighters and flames is the Global Super Tanker. It helps on the ground because to its spacious cabin, which has two bunks and 14 first-class seats. Additionally, the plane may disperse dispersants on oil spills in the ocean. 
But because of its long flaps and slats, which need a landing approach, piloting it may be difficult. The plane remained in Sacramento, California in 2006 as it awaited a contract with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Financial issues caused Evergreen International Aviation, which was established in the 1960s, to halt its 747 supertanker for many years. The U.S. Forest Service declined to contract the aircraft to fight Colorado wildfires in 2012, costing the firm millions of dollars. The company has previously produced commercial helicopters for agricultural operations. Even though Evergreen had a federal contract that called for a call when necessary, the aircraft was never used, causing a multi-million dollar loss. Following the establishment of an exclusive usage agreement with the government, the 747 services were never again required. Evergreen declared bankruptcy and closed its doors in 2013. To settle debts, a component salvage reseller purchased the 747 airframes for $4 million. Evergreen's successor, Global Supertanker Services, repurchased the 747's assets and intellectual property in 2015 and converted the sprayer system into the 747-400, a new passenger aircraft. The Colorado Springs-based upgraded supertanker, known as the Spirit of John Muir, had long, broad runways for effortless takeoff. In 2010, the 747 Supertanker was originally leased for two sorties in Israel, helping to put out the Carmela Forest Fire, which claimed 44 lives. But it was useless and came late. The plane assisted in putting out flames north of Jerusalem in 2016. Millionaire Luciana Aviles leased the 747, which Chile used to fight more than 100 active fires in 2017. Evergreen promised that the aircraft could fly without operating speed or altitude constraints, despite early concerns from Chilean officials about its ability to fly through the country's highlands. Chilean media learned that the 747 had been declared bankrupt, had been abandoned in the Colorado desert, and lacked the necessary permissions to fly in the United States, making its voyage to Chile mysterious. Evergreen required a $2 million down payment in order to lease the plane to Chile. To fight deforestation in the Amazon jungle, Chilean residents contributed $9 million to reactivate and purchase a 747 supertanker. In August 2019, the $800,000 leased aircraft touched down in Santa Cruz, Bolivia. At a cost of more than $16,000 each trip, it completed 61 flights in two months. The 100-day Inferno claimed the lives of hundreds of animal and plant species, seven firemen. 20 days after its arrival, Chile says goodbye to the 747 as a national hero. A fundraising drive and affluent folks provided funding for the procedure. After surviving Evergreen's financial disaster, the 747 Supertanker, a large aircraft, was given assignments across the continental United States. In California, it dumped 219,000 gallons of fire retardant in 13 flights in 2017, causing flames to claim 21 lives. Additionally, the plane was used in emergencies such as the car fires and the 2018 Mendocino Complex fire in Northern California. When paired with smaller aircraft, it is a useful tool, but not a perfect answer. During the worldwide pandemic in 2020, it was dispatched to combat many fires in Southern California. Check out our playlists on World War II American bombers or about the German planes of World War II.